It's a $40 million judgment following the tragic death of an 18-year-old killed when his parachute didn't open during a tandem skydive jump at the Lodi Parachute Center. Tonight, for the first time, we are seeing the heartbreaking video the team recorded just minutes before that jump. Let's go to CBS 13 Steve Large. He's live in Lodi with the powerful final word, Steve. And what's next for that controversial jump zone? Yeah, and it's really hard to watch this video knowing it's this 18 year old's final moments. It shows him fighting through his nerves and also raising the possibility of not making it. My name is Tyler Turner. What are you doing here? I am going to jump out of a plane. Uh, maybe you a little bit scary? A little bit scary. I'm, when I get up there, it's going to be like, oh gosh, adrenaline's going to kick in. It's going to just let it happen. Tyler Turner's pre skydive video includes an eerie exchange, his own brief questioning whether he would make it. Who is this? That's my mom over there. Hello. Very loving mom. Done a lot for me in my life. Hope more that she'll help me with more of my life because I want to make it. <laughs> okay, we're going to make it. Turner died when his parachute did not open in the 2016 jump. An investigation revealed the tandem instructor Turner was paired up with, who also died, was not properly certified. The owner of the parachute business, Bill Douse, declined my request for an interview Wednesday. He spoke to reporters the day of the deadly jump. Well, it's an unfortunate situation. The new business is called Skydiver Services Incorporated. Paul Vanderwall is the attorney for the Turner family. He argued Douse would have known his instructor was not certified had he exercised even the slightest degree of care. A judge issued a ruling in the deadly skydiving case awarding $40 million to the Turners. It also reads Douse can now be held personally responsible for the payment, no matter the name on the front of the parachute business. So the court allowed us to what's called pierce the corporate veil and hold the owner, director, manager responsible individually. A teen skydiving death and his family's legal fight trying to prevent another tragedy like it. It's your first time. First time indeed. Uh, maybe you a little bit scary. Well, in fact, there have been some 20 deaths at this uh, parachute center since it opened back in the 1980s. The attorney for the Turner family hopes that this particular judgment will force the owner to sell to someone who they say will be able to manage it more responsibly. Yeah, you're right, though, Steve. That video was tough to watch. Thank you.